relationships to help that 50 grand. I guess relationships is the biggest part right there. To more than what it is. Okay. That's pretty fun. Yeah, right, thanks, fun. Manos. Yeah. Hey, man. I love it. Thanks yeah. for having me, guys. Russian punk on my dick. Shinari. Restaurant punk. What's up? Restaurant punk. Restaurant punk. Restaurant punk. What's up? How What's you doing? What's going on? What's up, Matt Smith? Welcome back. What's up, George? Hey, to, oh, don't say that ever again, please. <laughs> and who the hell are you? Uh, my name is Manos Vornovakis. I'm sorry. What do you say? Manos Vornovakis. You're born in where? To caucus? Uh, Greece. Oh. Thessaloniki, Greece. <laughs> this is, we got another Greek here. God another damn Greek. it. You're stuck with us, George. You know about ah, it. Jesus. <laughs> so sick of them. Do you smoke cigarettes? I do not. Ah, thank God. Do you drink coffee? I do. Oh, goodness. You want to undo one button? Yeah. You can yeah, yeah look at that. That's a, that's that's a that is some sexy, oh. sexy some Greek chest hair right now. Now I'm Greek, Greek. dude. Okay. I'm, you can just rest in it. I'm kind of loving this right now. <laughs> This is a little, this is a little bromance right here. Welcome, Manos. Bro time. What's right. up, Manos? Uh, this is Manos. He is our our cash food distributor for all of our restaurants at the restaurant Car Restaurant Group. He is a lifesaver. He's a godsend. He's my best friend and our friend. Not, our but uh, I brought him on this week. I want to I want to pick your mind. And since you're here too, Maddie, what? How much money do you need to start a restaurant? You know what I'm saying? Because you have a background distributing food to restaurants. And your family has done restaurants, correct? Uh, no, not, oh, okay. not this my is, family So you're not directly. real Greek then. <laughs> um, and Matt, you st- you took over at Georgia's Place with no money down. So is $50,000 reasonable to open a restaurant down here or anywhere in the United States? Go, somebody. Absolutely. Uh, I Absolutely. think it is. Yeah, I think it is. 50000 you think it's enough? It so look, yes. I mean. Let's take it two ways. Is it is it established? Is it is a restaurant that's already, you're taking over? Like it's got a hood. It's got a... Uh, uh, Ansel system. It's got a kitchen. You just buy new chairs, new tables, and buying food. Then it's plenty, right? Because yeah, if plenty. you gotta outfit the whole place, right? If you're gonna buy all the restaurant equipment and the hood, and the chairs and tables and everything, then you're not even close. Yeah, three hundred thousand at least. So if you're just if you're taking over a place, I think with fifty thousand you can. But I mean, most likely you're gonna have to beg and borrow from some folks. You yeah, well, I mean, how about is it enough? So You've done this with many restaurants, even with us, and you've helped us out, get it going. It's like, all right, take your first order. Don't worry about it for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A grace so period. That's because I've had a long relationship with you guys, right? No, so not well, was, just with, well, with Yanni, uh, P with and Yanni, Nico. but you know, he backed yeah. you guys up on yeah, that, yeah. right? Um, I think you'd find it a little bit harder to do that's what if she said. you were just somebody <laughs> that was opening a restaurant and didn't have connections from prior, right? So if you... Open a restaurant was your first time with a restaurant and you didn't have any backing, any friends in the industry already. Right. And you just went to one, two, three, seven food service distributors. No, I don't think a lot of people would give you a chance. Yeah. Cool. Right. They would say, hey, these are our terms. This is why we expect to get paid. And, you know, most likely if you went above above those terms, they may or may not cut you off. Now, have, have you cut off plenty of people like except for me? Uh, we have cut people off. Yeah. You, you are not one of them. I know, thank God. <laughs> You're he one in a million. Ma- <laughs> it's so much I fun to cut him off. <laughs> I know. I don't know why anybody <laughs> likes me. I'm the worst. But like, what about you, uh, man? Like, so you have, say you're the third summer now. You have, yeah. some, well, sometimes you have money, but sometimes you don't. Um, <laughs> but you, I know what you have saved up. Can you take that and open up a restaurant? Do you feel comfortable doing it? Yes. And because I have the backing of people like you, Manos, and I already have my foot in the door. I can utilize a lot of things I've learned through the last three years and a lot of people that are in the other restaurant. If it, it was just one restaurant, it'd be a lot harder. But opening up a second restaurant, I believe, would be easier. Oh. Mm. Interesting. I, I want you to do it now. I want you to open up a second restaurant because I want to see your fucking face. I do face. too, buddy. I want to see too. You, you're too happy sometimes. So I've, you seen, I've seen both away. sides. I've seen both sides. Yeah. So I've seen people open second restaurant mm-hmm. and do super well and then open a third and fourth and whatever have you. But I've also seen people open a second restaurant. And that and, first one suffers. And it all of it suffers. Yeah. So that second restaurant bleeds the first restaurant too. And I've seen people close both. Wow. Go out of business completely, go out of the business altogether. Well, it's we it's all should tough, take man. and play. We should take and play uh with with uh, the money that fifty thousand where we live. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Now you travel an hour and a half to come down to us. So you're a little farther north, more uh, up there a little bit. We are a seasonal town down here. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Are we opening up a restaurant right now? Like right now. 
we're October crazy 1st. enough we would in the off season if we had you know to. What I'm saying? If, if it was a home run deal i mean we could do a lot of, with what we're given so i think we're going to we're going we're not making any now it comes to our benefits because we have somebody like you that would say all right cool you know what uh your first two payments whatever it is you hold off and then you also give us the ability to to find equipment correct uh yeah can, yeah you know what i'm saying that's what schedule that's, that yeah so he'll help us buy equipment so restaurant owners if you got to find your distributor give him a kiss <laughs> massage his back take him <laughs> golfing get drunk at 10 o'clock in the morning with matt smith for no reason at all disclaimer none of this has happened yes <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it wasn't us um but that's what you have to find the right person to do it so it's like it's it's really ridiculous and the concept i mean i give you props for shimon like that would you, you could open that up mine, right now yeah i mean no the way you run it the way the excitement the yeah. the concept itself you're it's an event a small place you can fill that up every single night in the off season if you really market it well and and the people come because it's something special in a small town off season it works are you gonna but open that, look up? At that, but look at that rent though look at the rent that i'm paying out you know what i'm True. saying Look True. at the rent where you're paying uh, over in uh, Wildwood Crest and the rent we're paying on Beachfront or the rent where I'm paying in Courthouse yeah. or the rent that, you know what I'm saying, the two deals that between Vintage and Brian. Yes. You know, but for $50,000, as we talked about, your concept has to match what you're willing to spend rent and you have to, and distributions and everything like that. So it has to fit that mold for that 50000 If it's a little bit more, you can you can do a little bit more. Start small. You think 50000 is enough? I think Again. you guys are... Crazy. Small, for a small place that's already ready to go. How many seats? 30 to 40. Love it. Exactly. So small. Yeah. But you know, listen, we're at a small place that even if it's ready to go, it, you're, you're not making money right away. You're not even close. The size of the seats. Again, you're starting <laughs> with 50, right? That doesn't mean that that's all you're going to end up owning, owing over the next yeah, I'm just yeah, X saying, amount I'm just of saying, time. Uh, yep. Mommy gave me $50,000 and you know what? My dream is to open up a restaurant. <sighs> I don't know, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that fifty thousand dollars also comes with uh, eighty hours a week, not getting paid, taking loans. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, what I'm using saying? your it's friends' you, bank accounts. We, 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 we say fifty thousand is a lot, but in the restaurant world, it's actually not a lot if you it's think not. about it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not. Look it's not expensive. Yeah, I we mean, talked about equipment. So even if you're going to get your place already outfitted, right? Yeah, you don't know how old the steam table you is. You don't know exactly. You, you don't know how old you know the oven is or whatever. I, have like you. that brine, I put no money down on brine, and the both ovens <laughs> did not work, and we didn't know that. <laughs> and when we but we just went for it, and then uh, uh, some uh, somebody just fixed the bottom oven now at the end of August. But he's been dealing with it for three months. Who'd you call? Your your dad. Your weirdo. Okay, you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> Matt's dad Shame helped me out. Thanks, Mr. Smith. <laughs> what the? You come no, on you here. Called, you called a friend. How can we make it work uh, with, you know, a budget we had? Uh, yeah, of course. You're going to call in all of all the people you're you know. saying that $50,000 is going to start a restaurant. But again, this, yeah. is, this is what we talked about to begin with. So you, you're going to have to beg and borrow and, and know some people, right? If you have no network, $50,000 mm -hmm. doesn't even begin to cover anything if you have no network. You have to have some somebody in the business that you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, if clearly, if, if you've never done the restaurant business, and it, I mean this nicely, Maybe but if you've truck. never done the restaurant business, and you have fifty thousand dollars to do not do go in the yeah. restaurant world, I would not because do that. you will <laughs> fail. Well, not fail, uh, but story. it's like I've I've seen that many times. I I know a police I'm, officer that retired, opened a bagel place, shut it down in nine months. Well, I don't even know how much money. I mean, yeah. look at our one of our friends is. Open up a place for somebody, and now he's going to put it up for sale. It's pretty crazy. Like, yeah. it's, it's a very tough world. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't think 50000 is enough. I don't think it's close. Mm. No? No, I just don't because, again, you can. I would not recommend it. We've been doing this for a while. Th no one's like him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He can hold a balance for me for a little bit, and it's like, you know what's cool? Don't pay now. I have another distributor that sent me a bill for $3.94. Yeah. And like, we're not going to give you anything unless you pay $3.94. Well, guess what? <laughs> you. <laughs> Sorry, that's too deep. She's going to yell at me. You have to build me. relationships. <laughs> I know and you trust have. over time. Yes. But so it's just like, and you can't be afraid to fail. And you, ha you have to have a perfect concept for the amount that you have or are willing to give. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Give. It, it doesn't even have to be give and take. It's, guy. it's this amount and you need this amount. I'm going to give you $50,000. Well, actually, no, I'm not. So you'll be really happy. Plus, <laughs> I don't even have fifty thousand dollars. So what am I thinking? Again, so you, I mean, you can, but you can't. I would not recommend it. Yeah.
<laughs> you wouldn't. You would I wouldn't have, recommend being in the restaurant business. I mean, well, I mean, I would recommend that. Unless Listen, you're ready to do the restaurant trade. business. And if you do, if you've been in the, if you've been in the restaurant business for a long time, then you can take a chance at owning it. But, but so it is a labor on. of love between the two of you guys. You don't think this is a rewarding thing that you do? Oh, absolutely. I didn't say restaurant part. No, I, I can love restaurant part. Stay <laughs> away if you, if you don't want. I'm listen. I'm so happy right now. The best time in my life is right now. If you're not, <laughs> if you're not ready to be a shark and lose a couple of teeth and have a couple backups, no, it is rewarding. Might, no, yes. what we do is really rewarding. And yeah, so, I mean, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people get into hospitality because they just love doing that. Yeah, yeah that, yeah. listen, I, my cousin's been doing it for 40 years, and she loves it. And I was like, you want to do anything? Nope, I'm good. I'm content. Laura. Yeah, I know. She just loves Look. it. She just loves being a server. She was. She can do anything she wants, but you know, I just want to be and serve. So she serves now all, all summer long, and the off season, she just chills. And her, her boyfriend's one of my head cooks over at Brian, and he just goes back to Puerto Rico. So yeah, hospitality people world is fun, but yeah, I mean, it's a stage. But she doesn't know what we pay. I mean, that's what I'm saying. She... I don't think she could take fifty thousand dollars and open a restaurant. Now she does have connections with servers, uh, cooks, bartenders, but she doesn't have a connection with you or a connection with a bank. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Doesn't matter how good your credit score is. You're right. You're you know right. what I'm saying? All right, George. What would be the bare minimum? Bare minimum? Yeah. Ooh. Um. And for for what concept? For what kind I'm of building? Say, for what, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's. Town, I'm gonna say it's, like a, uh, it's a, there's a hood and all. We're gonna say it's a restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. We're taking over a restaurant, right? Yes. Okay. It's got half the kitchen is there. Half the kitchen's there. We have 35 seats, 80,000. Well, those two numbers are not that varied. Yeah. Well, that's still so an extra 30,000, though. I mean, I understand it's you're, an extra 30,000. But you're but thinking you have to. I'm thinking your point is like you need 250,000. Yeah. Like between 50 and 80, I mean, you're going to get there. That's a yeah. handshake away from. That's a handshake away. Yeah, I'll give you a handshake. <laughs> no, but it's, I mean, I just, I think 50 is, I mean, it's low. It's, it's, it's hard. I mean, they don't think about when it comes to your, your, listen, your sales tax, your payroll taxes that they don't think about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What if you're renting? If you're renting a property, if mm -hmm. you don't own the property, you're renting it. They need, what is it? First month's, last month's down sometimes, yeah. a security deposit. Mm -hmm. Look at that right there. A, a long time ago, we looked at a place in Stone Harbor. Uh, uh, we were going to call it room 15, right? That rent was a hundred thousand dollars, and we had to put twenty. And I and I put twenty thousand down. That's already twenty in the hole. Yeah, you know, and it, and there was a kitchen there. And guess what happened? The old owner took everything away, <laughs> and we had to spend another ten thousand just to keep it. So that's thirty thousand right keep there. The refrigerator just to keep the hood. Yeah, the, oh, the you hood. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to keep the hood, the gas the lines, too. and the walk-in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's thirty thousand right there. Yeah, it's tough. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's that's nothing else there. That's what I'm saying. 50 is not even close. That was a lot bigger restaurant, though, wasn't it? That's well, we were trying two different concepts, yeah. but yeah, I mean, one side I would add a 75 seats, one side would 95, but still. But even at 75 seats, you're already in the hole for 30. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's they don't think about it. You yeah. unless you own the property and your landlord is, you know, uh, somebody nice or somebody like that you can work with that knows the business, you're fine. Unless you have somebody like you and your distribu uh, and your distribution that you can help us out. And the short-term fix to help a long-term game, you're fine. But if you're walking in blind with 50 grand, well, that's that's the thing. I don't think me and Manos are saying you're coming in blind. You're doing your due diligence. What you're doing your research where you're going to put the restaurant, your concept, your people. You should have everybody else in line where you're going to you buy don't food. Have anything, you're not going to throw 50 grand at a wall and expect it to work. But I'm saying that when you're going to work, your your but luck. that even even that like I said, even that 50 grand, like mm -hmm. you still need to have money back up. Because what if yeah. you open and you're not busy right away? Yeah. Or if you say you have Everything staff, say you're 2020. Staff. You know what I'm saying? Staff. <laughs> say you have staff right there, right? You hired this chef, this cook, this dishwasher, this prep, and you're not working, but you got to be prepped for two a month. Say one month. Where's that money coming from? Yeah, and ready to pivot. Yeah. You know, you let's know say twenty twenty happens. What'd you do? Exactly. Take out crazy. So that's what it's. So that's why I just don't think. So what's the answer? What's the answer? <laughs> yeah. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I'll find so fifty thousand is I not think, enough. I don't unless uh, you have a vast. Yeah, fifty thousand is not something close business. unless you have a monos and a restaurant you have group, a group behind you, yeah. uh, or yeah. relationships to help that fifty grand. I guess relationships the biggest part right there to more than what it is. Okay. That was pretty fun. Yeah, All right, thanks, fun. Manos. Yeah, hey, man. I love it. Thanks yeah. for having me, guys. Russian punk on my dick. Shinari. I'm George. Matt Smith. Manos for Navakis. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. You're going to clap three times. Hold on, let's start again. <laughs> you don't have to. No? Okay. What you got? What do you want?